Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to knit this hat and texting glove set. Welcome to Hectanooka 1. If you find the videos too fast, you can slow them down by clicking on the gear icon below the video. Please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive an email when I post a new video. I'm going to work with two strands of worsted weight yarn and 7 millimeter knitting needles. Cast on 22 stitches. Okay, I cast on 22 stitches. And for this pattern, you knit every row. To knit a row, insert the needle into the stitch, bring the yarn up between the two needles, bring it onto the right needle, and then slip the stitch on the left needle off. And you'll knit every stitch across the row. So knit every stitch all the way across the row. all the way across the row. Okay, I knit every stitch across the row and you're going to continue in the same way. Knit every row until you have a rectangle that will wrap around the hand. So knit every stitch across the row, then turn and continue to knit every stitch across the row. Until you have worked a rectangle like this that is large enough to wrap around the hand like that. To cast off, knit the first stitch, knit the next stitch, pull the previous stitch over and off the needle, knit the next stitch, Pull the previous stitch over and off the needle. And you just continue that all the way across the row. Like that. And then you'll sew this with a darning needle. Leave an opening for the thumb. And then continue to sew up the side. Like that, I've got it all sewn up. And then you can attach the knit flower to the tops of the fingerless gloves. To make the hat, just continue to knit more and more rows until you can wrap the rectangle around the head. And then you'll fold the work in half and sew it into a tube. Weave all through the top of the hat. and take a few stitches to secure it and weave the yarn end into the finished work. And that's what the finished hat will look like. And then you can sew your knitted flower on the hat. Okay, I have cast on 10 stitches and fasten off that color. And I'm going to attach my new color. And I'm going to purl across the row. Okay, I purled all the way across the row. Now I'm going to knit two stitches in every stitch all the way across. So knit into the front of the stitch and then knit into the back of the stitch. Into the front and into the back. At the end of this row, I'll have 20 stitches. So into the front and into the back. Do that all the way across the row. Okay, I worked all the way across the row. And now I'm going to purl in each stitch across the row. Purl 
purl in each stitch across the row. Okay, I purled all the way across the row, and I'm going to repeat, knit two stitches in each stitch. So knit into the front of the stitch, and knit into the back of the stitch. Knit into the front, and into the back. Work all the way across the row. And there you have, I've knitted all the way across the row. And now I'm going to purl across the next row. Okay, I purled across the row. Now I'm going to knit across the row and I'm going to cast off each stitch after it is worked. So knit the first stitch, knit the second stitch, pull the first stitch over and off the needle. Knit the next stitch, pull the previous stitch over and off the needle. You're going to work all the way across the row, casting off each stitch after it has been worked. Like that, all the way across the row. This is what it will look like. So then you can bring these two ends together and sew them together with a darning needle, weed through, and close up the center of the flower. And then you can sew a button in the center. That's how easy it is to make this knitted set of hat and texting gloves. Thanks for watching.